Hello, in this video we are going to make a 3D reconstruction of a uh, lung lesion uh, of uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus. Uh, so you have to go in a segment editor in 3D Slicer and uh, you make three new segments. You can change the color, uh, for example, uh, we can say that lungs will have this color. So let's call it lungs. This one will be bronchi and we can give them this color. And this one will be uh, the lung lesions. Um, let's set it in green. So now the first thing we want to do is to create uh, the 3D model of the, of the lungs. So let's use a threshold tool, go down there, choose right uh, density, yeah, it will be fine, click apply, then you click island, keep selected island, you click on the right segment, which is this one, and as you can see we have a lot of little dots right here, uh, then that we can fill using smoothing tool, so you have to use smoothing, fill holes, uh, 5 millimeters should be fine, and click apply. You wait a little bit, and it, it will close all the little holes here. So uh, let's uh, see uh, what looks like so our model. You have to click show 3D here, and you have your, your lung model here. Um, you can smooth it a little bit if you want uh, with median smoothing 3 millimeters should be fine click apply and that's it uh, so now uh, you want to create the bronchi segment so let's uh, click segmentation here change the opacity of the lungs like this go back in edit selected and let's create the bronchi segment. Uh, so we have to use a float filling tool. Um, in edge table area, uh, you click in inside lengths and in over right, none, of course, or, over, or otherwise it will erase uh, the other segment. In intensity tolerance, you can try 15. Don't change the uh, neighborhood side, I don't know uh, what it is, and you click here, on the bronchi. Uh, let's try some somewhere else. Okay, here it's uh, it's good. Um, I can use smoothing tool and fill holes uh, with five mm, uh, four millimeters maybe to fill all the little dots here. And now I have a, a much proper segment. Okay, so now we have uh, our lengths and the bronchi. Um, if, if you want to have a better image, you can uh, match in grow um, two millimeters. Okay, well, that that's not really useful, but you, you can do this if you want. And then you can use logical operator, lengths, subtract, bronchi. You can see them uh, a little bit better, but uh, that's not an obligation. And then let's uh, do the lung lesions. We don't need to display lung and bronchi. And we are going uh, to use a threshold to select the right density. Where the lesion, where you can see the lesion, but not the surrounding tissue. And as you can see, uh, I cannot uh, do better uh, than this. Um, even almost. So uh, unfortunately, you have to do it uh, almost uh, manually. So you can uh, click use for masking, uh, paint, sphere brush and you have to paint it uh, manually like this. 
I didn't find a, find a better solution uh, to do this uh, automatically. So uh, let's do it like this. So for one lesion, you can have this result. So uh, I will make a pause in the video and uh, do the rest of the lesions. And I'll be back in a few seconds. So once uh, you you painted all, uh, all your legends, uh, you can uh, display them uh, like this, uh, maybe with less opacity for the, for the lungs. And if you want to have a better looking image, uh, you can uh, use the smoothing tool again in the lung legends. You have to unclick edit editable in density range here and uh, it work inside lungs of right node and use a closing um, fill all uh, tool. You can begin with three millimeters to see what happens. As you can see, it's a little bit better and you can even smooth them a little bit with medium tour. And you have, uh, you have this. Uh, so that's it. Um, I'm not sure it's uh, very useful, but uh, uh, it's uh, close you to see where has uh, the lesions in, in 3D. Uh, if you have better, if you have a better idea to uh, to do an automatic uh, segmentation, feel free to leave a comment. I will be uh, happy to to read about this. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.